Hello everybody. Today we have Alina who is upcoming data analyst intern in Wells Fargo. So Alina, let's start this video with your introduction. Okay. So uh, first of all, Upasana, thank you so much for having me here. And uh, I'm Alina, as you know, uh, and I'm like uh, currently pursuing my pre-final year at IGTW. And uh, I study computer science engineering with a specialization in AI. And I'll be one of the upcoming data analyst interns at Wells Fargo this summer. Congratulations, Alina. So Thank you. let's start this video. Okay. First, we will cover the eligibility criteria for the particularly analytic role. Yeah, sure. So um, a data analyst intern is someone like talking about what who is a data analyst so like you get a lot of data so uh, i'm working with a bank actually so inside banks you have data of customers and all that so you make use of that data and uh, just create business driven solutions which is more profitable to the bank as well as the customers and uh, speaking of the eligibility uh, i it was an on campus opportunity so as such of eligibility it was just a six cgpa like six and above and uh, no backlogs that was the only eligibility we had and then anyone who was uh, fulfilling that could write the online assessment okay lena next moving to the uh, resources you used for the preparation like when you started dsa and all those part yeah so uh, like i am an ai student so uh, we had two options one was uh, either into the field of ai or sds so mm -hmm. our college just mostly like 90 percent of the jobs were sds but uh, i personally wanted to go into anything related to data analyst but yeah still i wrote all the sd tests and everything but uh, I did my DSA via Apna College. So I took up a course and then did all the DSA. But like uh, parallelly, uh, last summer, uh, we I did an internship, research intern uh, at NUS. So that mainly built my machine learning skills, data analyst an analytic skills and all that. So hats off to that college. I built up all my skills from there. But other than that, coming to DSA, I did it like online, purchased a course and all that. And uh, even like in my college, the CSAI curriculum was pretty good. Like it covered OOPS, DSA, even most of the data science subjects, ML, AI subjects, they all, it covered like in a very good, uh, it was a very good curriculum basically. So yeah, these were my resources. And like during the interview, it was, uh, Geek for, geeks for geeks or like interview bit when it comes to SQL, DBMS and all that, like those theory based questions. Okay, Alina, next moving to your resume part, like how you made it um, and all the tips from your side for the juniors, but particularly for resume. Yeah, so my resume was a very simple resume, like in the beginning, it had nothing like literally nothing. And uh, then like after my first year, we had internships from at college itself. Like there were like small projects. We made like small projects. Uh, I live in hostel, so on campus accommodation. So me and my roommate formed a group and then we started building projects. Uh, like initially I did one project. It was Twitter sentiment analysis, like after my first year. That, that too, it was for the internship. And then next year, after my second year, uh, again, uh, about the internship I did during summer. So that project was my, like, was the project I did, like, completely by myself. And, like, I learned a lot of new things. So one thing I would say is, uh, in resumes, like, do as much as projects you can and put it on your resume. But like when you put it on your resume, make sure you know the project because you know the interview who is sitting across you, like 
he'll come to know initially like if the project is like legit or not so like you should have like if he asked about the project you should know a to z about it or like okay you just did a part of the project so you should mention it to the interviewer okay i did the web d part or i did the testing and training part of the project whatever so about and that project might be your you know that might be your uh, this uh, like it might set you into the internship or it might get you selection or whatever and then internship so this everyone might not get but like i would say open your linkedin and then just apply to 100 jobs like i have applied to many jobs i've i've not got selected to any of it but like i would say just apply like it it can be like without stipend or it can be with stipend like in the end i got one i got called for one of the jobs by then like i got placed on campus so it's like i would say har mat mana till the end like even now interns who are like who hasn't gotten placed yet like in the end like even our college says that our college has a really good placement uh, statistics and like that's what they say in the end everyone will get placed so like do search for internships do even if it's a small internship even if it's a very small part of a project just do it and just add into your resume whatever you do add into your resume but when you add just know that you've done it and you've known it because the interviewer in the end they understand like yeah that's the main highlight for the resume tips okay lena next moving to the oa pattern in your test particular particularly for the analytics part yeah so uh, i'll tell it from the beginning uh, actually wells fargo had three roles technical role uh, and then under data science there were again two branches data analyst and adap adap is like advanced data analytic uh, training so these adap students are trained to become data analyst at wells fargo itself so the tech role had a different oa and the di- data science role had a different oa so i chose for the data science uh, role and i wanted data analyst itself in particular not the adap my first preference was data analyst so uh, the oa consisted of like a uh, verbal communication skills like basically english grammar and all that another section was uh, it's more like uh, what do you say business analytics kind of like they give you pie chart and then tell you the percentage how many percentage that's one and then i remember we had sql questions like uh, one if if i'm right it's one sql and one programming question uh yeah so these were the sections nothing else we had it was more like uh, aptitude business aptitude business aptitude uh, english uh, verbal skill and uh, one sql question and one programming question and sql question was like basic to advanced like moderate to advanced the level and a programming question i'm not sure if there was a pro- programming question but yeah okay alina next moving to the interview experience of yours like yeah. how many interviews were there two technical one hr or whatever yeah so we were said uh, we'll be having one technical and one hr round uh, and uh, six of us if i'm right uh, four or six of us were selected for the interview uh, under data analyst and uh, four people sorry it's four yeah and uh, when i got inside like got in the meet we had an online interview by the way so when we got in the meet uh, there were two two people so one of them uh, did the technical interview and the other one like uh, reviewed the resume and like asked from the resume and all that so i remember that the guy who did the technical questions who asked me the technical questions was from the hyderabad branch of wells fargo and the guy who asked me about my resume and all that was from the bangalore branch so and about the technical interview uh, as you know it's a data analyst interview so 
uh, they asked everything about data science what is data science what is they, they just want you to be clear about okay you you gave this role out of all the options so do you know what is a data analyst and all that and uh, they didn't ask me anything related to dsa uh, to be clear because it was a data analyst role and they asked me about tableau uh, tableau is a tool for uh, graphs and like basically picture representation uh, tableau they asked me about sql they asked me about uh, python and it was very basic questions and like if you know more data science tools like uh, if you have mentioned it in your resume they'll ask you like for example advanced tools of data science they'll ask you about that too and uh, the guy who was uh, set to ask about like from my resume i expected him to ask about my latest project but he asked me about my very first project from first year so like that was something like which got twisted like i expected him to ask from my best project i mean it was like it, it was a pretty good project so i expected him to him him to ask me that but he asked me the other one but anyways like yeah so that's the thing and in the end you know uh the interviews were very friendly touchwood my interviews were very humble and uh, friendly and all that so i mean it was a very normal conversation okay the first 5 minutes while giving the introduction it was a bit you know hesitating and all that but in the end you know even they helped me like they were like okay you don't have to get tensed and all that and they were very friendly like it was it was just a very normal conversation and yeah and then in the end we started talking about banks and then data science you know it's like the interview is on you obviously they'll ask you one or two questions but it's it it depends on you like how you divert the question into a normal conversation and like you know just be very friendly with the interview just be open with the interview yeah. okay alina um, next uh, any tips from your side for the juniors for particularly data analyst part and some do's and don'ts from your side yeah so you're telling on the basis of interview or like preparation general general okay so for like preparing for data science role i would say be good with python and by being good with python i say um uh, if you studied in cbse the 11th and 12th portion they give that's more than enough i would say i mean they teach very good they teach a good level of sql in school uh and uh, i would say get familiar with tableau and all that and then uh i would say like selecting a language people can people select another other languages too but i would say python is the most essential one and it's like most of them use that when it comes to data science but when it comes to dsa and all that people use java or c++ but even though python is acceptable just like that in data science python is a main language and uh, i would say study machine learning it is very essential like if you want to go to, if you want to pursue more of data science and all that machine learning is a part and uh, max is also a part stati- uh, probability and statistics so you know max is everywhere so that is essential and that that's all for the preparation part and i would say just go for theory based questions and all that like dbms oops uh not even oops i would say dbms is more important than oops when it comes to data analyst interview and uh, what else uh, for interview i would say be friendly be open uh if you don't know the answer say you you're not sure about the answer that's what an interviewer likes they want an, they want a, an honest employee so they just don't you know uh check if you're answering the question they check your personality and especially when it comes to bank ba- when it comes to banks they don't want just a person who does their job very properly and then like right like they want the, they want a person who does it rightfully they want an all rounder they want like a person who can speak because banks deal with customers every day they deal with clients every day 
so that's what i would say and uh, be friendly with the interviewer like in the end i remember in my interview we start talking about the company culture and all that and yeah one important thing is they they'll ask you how like do you have any questions and all that it's very important to ask a question in the end of the interview i would say you can ask anything you can ask how did i do or you can ask uh, uh what is the company culture uh how is it going like at wells fargo or something like that and uh, one one more important tip is like once you get shortlisted for an interview i am pretty sure everyone has their own script for introduction and all that but when you get shortlisted for a, for a company just go to the company search the company like google google me and like know their values their mottos and all that and personalize your introduction according to that and that would help a lot and i would say for wells fargo it was more like good leadership quality teamwork and all that so my introduction was personalized in that way i i almost said that i work better in teams than like i work better in a team than working like by myself and all that so that would help a lot and uh, one one more point i would say is um you know the like they they'll want to know if you actually want to work in that company or are you just there for like you know campus placement hai to main aa gaya mujhe to kai bhi lagwana hai placement bas but it's not like that it's like they want to know that if you particularly want to work in this company like for me it was like i wanted to work in banks but i used to give uh, sabka away and all that but मतलब मुझे अंदर से था कि मुझे बैंक में ही वर्क करना है नॉट तो वेन एवर अ बैंक का सेशन केम ऑन कैंपस लाइक दे फर्स्ट कम एंड गिव गिव अ सेशन राइट एन इंट्रोडक्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑन ऑल दैट ऑन कैंपस आई टू गो देर एंड सेट एंड देन लिसन टू द टू द लाइक टू द स्पीकिंग एंड ऑल दैट सो लाइक लाइक वेन आई वॉज इन सेकेंड ईयर और समथिंग वेल्स फागो हैड कम and then uh, there was this uh, there was this uh, official from the company called julie so she gave a speech about adap they were introducing adap program on campus for the first time this year and all that so i have i i didn't think i'll get into wells fargo i just randomly listened to that speech and then during my interview they asked do you actually want to get into wells fargo and then like my answer came like this yeah i remember last year you guys came with uh, julie and then uh, she talked about this and then i was like yeah then i decided that i want to work for, like if you give your answer like that they'll be like oh wow okay she actually wants to work in our company so it you know your chances of getting selected is more so i would say personalize your answer and it was my luck i was there for that session that day so yeah like even if you are not there you should have some answer like you you should research so much about the company that they know okay she ha- she knows about our company okay she wants to work with us and all that so that's my tip and then being friendly and all that yeah.